The Pizza Time Machine, A Slice of Adventure One Friday night, in the quiet town of Crumbsville, 14-year-old Jake Spaghetti had one thing on his mind, pizza. Not just any pizza, he wanted the best pizza. But there was a problem. The town's pizza shop, Tony's Slice Palace, was closed for renovations, and the next nearest pizza place was in the next town, which Jake's parents had already declared too far away for a Friday. Desperate, Jake rummaged through his kitchen. All he found were some expired breadsticks and a jar of suspiciously green tomato sauce. I need pizza, Jake groaned. And that's when he had an idea. A completely ridiculous, scientifically impossible, and potentially disastrous idea. I'll invent a pizza time machine. Now, you might be thinking, does Jake know how to build a time machine? The answer is no. Jake had once gotten an A on a history project about dinosaurs, but that was the extent of his genius. But, hey, when you're a teenager with a pizza craving, logic goes out the window. Jake went to his garage, grabbed his old bike helmet, duct tape, and an old, dusty toaster. With great confidence, he taped the toaster to a broken fan, attached some old Christmas lights, and, for dramatic effect, drew a big red button on a piece of paper that said, Do not press. After exactly 23 minutes of work, Jake stood back and admired his invention. Behold, the pizza time machine, he declared dramatically. The garage cat, Fluffernutter, looked thoroughly unimpressed and continued licking a greasy pizza box Jake had forgotten to throw away. Jake plugged in his toaster contraption, took a deep breath, and pressed the paper button. Nothing happened. He frowned, kicked the toaster, and suddenly, bzzzzt. The lights flickered, the fan sputtered to life, and in a flash of light, Jake was hurled through time. When Jake opened his eyes, he was no longer in his garage. He was standing in the middle of what looked like an old, medieval village. People were walking around in tunics and pointy hats. A knight clanged past him, carrying a sword that looked way too heavy for comfort. Ah, uh, where's the pizza? Jake muttered. He wandered around until he found a tavern with a sign that read, Ye Old Pizza Shop. Inside, a man in a floppy hat was tossing dough in the air. I need a pizza. Extra cheese, Jake said, hoping medieval pizza wasn't a thing of myth. The man looked at him oddly. We only serve ye ancient pizza pie here, lad. Just dough, a sprinkle of herbs, and a whole turkey leg on top. Turkey leg? Jake cried, horrified. What kind of pizza is this? Before Jake could escape, a blast of light filled the room, and he was back in the time machine. The next stop was ancient Rome. But once again, there was no cheesy goodness in sight, just a bunch of gladiators eating bread and olives. Then he landed in 1776, where a group of American revolutionaries were suspiciously nibbling on something that resembled pizza, but it had no sauce and was made out of potatoes. Does nobody in history know what pizza is supposed to be? Jake wailed. Finally, after what felt like ages of disappointing pizza pit stops, the machine sputtered, hissed, and flung him one last time into the future, way into the future. Jake opened his eyes to find himself in a strange, shiny room full of blinking lights and robot servers. Welcome to Future Pizza. Please choose your topping, said a robotic voice. Oh, finally. Jake sighed. He looked at the digital menu. 
The options? Broccoli-flavored crust, spaghetti sauce drizzle, and something called quantum cheese, whatever that was. No. N-O-O. Jake shouted. I just want a normal pepperoni pizza with extra cheese. The robot beeped. Error. Normal pizza unavailable. Please enjoy your broccoli spaghetti flavored pizza. And with a heavy heart, Jake realized something very important about pizza. The best pizza was the one you had in the present. He grabbed the weird futuristic pizza slice, stepped back into his time machine, and zipped home. Back in Crumbsville, Jake rushed into his kitchen, exhausted but victorious. He flopped onto the couch with his futuristic pizza. It was the strangest, most bizarre pizza he'd ever tasted, but he ate every last slice. Because, as Jake learned that day, when you're a teen with a pizza craving, even broccoli spaghetti-flavored pizza is better than no pizza at all. The end.